Hello everyone. Now this video will teach you how to fix the undetected Western Digital SMR hard drives. Now we have connected one Western Digital SMR pension drive and when power on this pension drive I can hear some clinking noises. And now we can see that this arrow status is on. Now we try to enter the DFWD firmware repair software because the drive has some problem of detection so uh, we can try to enter the program and to obtain details we can see the firmware ID is not detected and its capacity is, is zero and its model number, serial number and firmware version are not detected at all so at this time, how to fix such kind of undetected SMR hard drives? And we can see even the model list is empty. Because for this pension drive, we have unlocked with the special unlock ROM here. Now let's try to check how to continue with the from repair process. So for this kind of drive, the very first thing is to back up the ROM. Anyway, we have done that. Now let's try to disable the module 411. And we, then we execute the firmware restart. Now we can see here the execution success. So uh, we can re-enter the program to refresh the RAM. Now we can see after disable the module 411, we can see that the UA writing. We can uh, come here to lock the UA writing, and at the same time, we can go to the module list. We can find out the module list is available here after disabling the module 411 uh, we have backup the modules now let's check the backup modules and uh, here uh, this way we can see the here is modules within the copy zero folder and we can find out all the modules we have backup so this function we can find out it is very helpful to use to use here disable 411 after doing that we can find us module list is available now we read this modules within the firmware operations read modules now at this time we can try to write this module uh, one last thing use the backup firmware now let's select this folder, uh, Palmer, and this is the folder we have, save the modules. Anyway, we don't need to write all the modules, so we need to unselect all, and here we select this module 190. This is the original copy of the module 190, that's a dynamic secondary translator. So here we try to write it. Now we can see we are writing the module 190 by AB mode. After writing the module 190, we can try to enable the module uh, 411 and check if the drive is detected or not. Please note we have made a backup of the modules and also the ROM and ROM modules. Now we just need to wait until module 190 write completes. So we are writing by the ABA mode. When we are trying to run in the firmware operations, we can check the log window to see what is being done here. For Western Digital SMR hard drives, it is very important to back up 
the modules after disable the 411. So this one is important. This on the Chrome is for uh, unlock the firmware error. So we can wait a little bit. Now we can see that this is copy zero, module 190, right? OK. So after this one shows within the log window, we can try to execute and restart the firmware. And at the same time, we need to enable the 411. And here we can refresh ID. Now we can try to re-enter the program. Now with original ROM, we can find out this one. Um, let's try to check the hex. Log window. Now we can see its capacity is zero. Power off, power on. Refresh. Now we refresh ID. We can see that the drive has been detected now. So that means the undetection from corruption is caused by module 190. After we repair the module 190 and we can try to write it and the translator regeneration completes. At this time, in order to recover the nostril data, we need to notice module 190 to RAM. Now let's check here within uh, DFDDP data recovery software, we can try to get ID information. 55AA. You know, so in some cases, after user, users write in the module 190, all those sectors become 0, zero. At this time, we can use this function, edit map in RAM, and node T2. And here, we can select the module 190 if users didn't have a backup of the T2 data. Now we can select the module 190 and click load. We can switch to this firmware repair program. And here, we can try to read the T2 data here.
modules. So T2 data here. Now we can try to go to DDP edit head mapping RAM and node T2. Here we can select T2 data. Click load. We can try to check the hex. Right now, we can find out the partition information because the two data has already been loaded automatically. So we don't need to load it here again. So this is the whole process to recover the lost data from undetected Western Digital SMR hard drives. You know, sometimes when the SMR hard drives has module one light corruption, then users need to use this function. This is auto module one light repair. So users can select the intelligent mode, click OK and then select the module 190 for auto repair like this one and right click we can see auto repair we can try to click by start RBA and then auto repair then we can get one new T2 data for data recovery, because we need to know the T2 data. So this is the whole process. Thank you for watching the video.